Heading into a new year means a new budget year, and today I'm going to show you our overall budget for 2023. Hey guys, I'm Marissa, and welcome back to my channel. Here I talk all about how you can enjoy life and accomplish financial goals through the use of a budget, so I love to talk about budgeting here on my channel. I love the fresh start that a new year brings as we look towards planning for the upcoming year and how we can use our finances to accomplish our big goals and also enjoy life along the way. So here's a look at our overall family budget for 2023. If you are new here, I do live in Portland, Oregon with my husband Jacob and our two sons who are Peter and Jack who are two and a half and six months. And this is what we're planning for our finances to look like this year. I like to plan this out looking at the big picture of the whole year because it gets me excited about the goals that we are going to be working on throughout the year and I can see more of the longevity of um, the progress that we're planning to make and how doing certain things even in earlier months of the year will then have a greater impact on our finances for the future. So this isn't something that I'm obviously going to stick to. Like I don't plan on like the, what I'm setting right now for my budget for December 2023, like that's not going to be my monthly budget for December 2023. I know that like things are going to change. But it just gives me a really great forecasting tool and just planning to look this far out in advance. I also do have this budget template available on my Etsy shop. I will have a link to that down below. You can check that out. I love this annual template. I also have a monthly template, which is what I use every single month, which goes more in depth for each month's budget where I track the budget in actuals. And I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Those are really great budget templates. If you're wanting to get started with budgeting, would highly recommend that. Okay, so first off, we have our income section. My husband, Jacob, works in marketing and he works fully remote from home. Um, I work for myself here on YouTube doing all of social media and things like that. Um, so I have all of that listed out and blocked off, but as a grand total, here's the take home pay that we're planning to work with for each month. This is all of our pay after taxes, insurance, all of the deductions, 401k, HSA, all that kind of stuff. So. January through May should stay the same. June and December are months that my husband will get three paychecks. He's paid every other week, so two months a year. You get like a bonus paycheck, basically. So I have that listed there, um, planning ahead for those future months. Now we will take a look at expenses. So we use a zero-based budget, which means all of our income equals all of our money out each month between expenses, debt, and savings. So let's first take a look at the expenses, money out that's going on. We have our tithe. We also support two children in Rwanda and a missions organization. So this is all of our giving that we do. I also have this blocked out for privacy, but we do include that. Next we have is our mortgage, which is going to be a standard $2,206.28 every month. Next we have is our HOA, which is also standard each month, $121.46. Our water, sewer, and utilities ends up being around 200 so I combined like um, water sewer electric and natural gas all of those together is usually about 200 a month and even during um, winter months and summer months it all still kind of remains the same our natural gas is what we use to heat our home and that is going to be higher in the winter months and then electric is what we use for, obviously for lights and then also our central air conditioning which is going to be higher in summer months because we're running our air conditioner more so it kind of all averages out throughout the year. Then we have internet at $44.99, our phones at $115, insurance this is for our cars at $122, life insurance as a term insurance policy for myself and my husband at $52.89. Groceries, we're trying to stick to about $4.50 a month for our family. Um, and we'll see we'll see how that goes, depending on how inflation is going for this next year. Then we have eating out budget at $150, which is also our standard and then gas at 150 as well. Um, this actually may come down a little bit. Gas has gone down a little bit recently, so I can see us dropping this down. Um, but again, this is just kind of like a rough, a rough forecast for the year, so I don't need to be too nitpicky about this. Next we have is fun. We budget $50 a month for fun. And then Peter's school. My son Peter does go to a little preschool two days a week, so I have that there. I also have that blocked off for privacy. Then we have miscellaneous at 150 college for the boys at 200 i am putting a hundred dollars into each boys 529 college savings plan next we have is our roth ira and as you can see we're not planning to put anything into it in january february 
March, April, May. <laughs> And not until June are we planning to put to the Roth IRA. So for 2023, the limit, the contribution limit for a Roth IRA for our age is $6,500 for each of us. So we would love to be able to hit that. But when you look here at our overall budget, um, down here, the grand total is $10,824 that I'm projecting we'd be able to put towards our Roth IRA. And to max them both out, that would be 13,000. So it looks like we will probably come up a little short there. Um, but if we can, you know, find some other ways to cut things out during the month or, you know, bringing in more income, then great. And we could maybe hit that. But that's what I'm planning we'll hit for our Roth IRA. And you'll see why we aren't funding it yet down here in the savings section. Um, the next thing that I have here is our brokerage line item, which is just basically like if we had extra money after the Roth IRA, it's where we put it. Obviously, we don't have any money left after the Roth IRA. Okay, so let's take a look at savings and you'll see some big things here. Oh, I also want to mention we are debt free. We paid off $87,000 of student loan debt in 2017. Um, so the only debt we technically do have is our mortgage, but um, I just put that in our expense section. We don't have any um, we don't have any consumer debt or anything that we're working to pay off and we're not trying to pay off our mortgage soon right now. So let's take a look at savings, sinking funds that we're planning to save for. First off is our emergency fund. Um, we wanna be able to fully fund this. We had an emergency fund before of around three months of necessary expenses. My husband went through a job loss and it was only a month and a half that he was out of work and we didn't even have to touch our emergency fund, which is great. But it just really encouraged us to increase this a bit more. So we're wanting to increase this up to six months of necessary expenses. So we've been working on increasing that more as well. So I'm planning that it'll take us until June until we're about done with that goal. Um, so we're wanting to get that done as soon as possible. But yes, every extra penny right now is going towards that emergency fund. I'm excited to just like save, save, save a lot of money this year. Next we have is Jacob personal and my personal. So this is what each of us gets for personal spending that we can choose to do whatever we want with. Um, this did go down a little bit from last year just because we're wanting to focus more on these big goals and my husband's new job does pay a little bit less so we are factoring that into that decision um jacob gets substantially more than i do just because he's much more of a spender i barely spend money so i just i just honestly don't need to have that money set aside there next we have is extra giving we budget 50 dollars a month for that then we have gifts clothing and vacation we're not planning to put any money towards vacation really at all this year um but gifts and clothing, we will start back up on these other sinking funds once we reach our emergency fund goal. So I love sinking funds because they help you to be able to plan for upcoming things that you know are gonna come up, so you might as well start saving for it. But if you're working on accomplishing a big financial goal, it's best if you can put as much to that goal as soon as possible. So in our case, we're really just wanting to beef up that emergency fund. So we're not going to put money to these extra sinking funds during this time so that we can put as much as we can to the emergency fund and get that done as soon as possible. So that's why we don't have anything budgeted for that time when we're working on the emergency fund. But then once that is done, we will go back and start increasing these sinking funds. Um, next we have is Christmas medical honestly christmas i i don't need to save for christmas right now either i'm going to take that out and i'll adjust these emergency fund uh, amount 1842.58 the other thing that we do for christmas is actually utilizing our credit card rewards um so we have a usaa credit card that gets us one and a half percent cash back on everything and at the end of each year i'll cash that out and use it for christmas and then we also have the city bank credit card for Costco because now that we're a family of four, we are shopping at Costco a whole lot more. And so with the cash back for both of those, we will just use that as our Christmas fund. So I honestly don't anticipate that we'll be spending a whole lot on Christmas. The one thing fund that I am keeping around during this time is medical. Um, we are on a high deductible health plan for the next year. And we are going to be saving over the year um, the amount of our deductible, which is, yeah, a little more than $4,000. So I just want to have the money set aside there 
so that we have the freedom to spend on medical expenses when they come up. I feel like it makes it much easier to go to the doctor when you know you have money set aside for medical expenses. And also since we have two little kids, I know we're gonna be going to the doctor. So I'm just gonna save for our deductible for over the whole year in a sinking fund. And I'm just planning that we'll hit at least the deductible, maybe the max out of pocket. If we need to, we can pull from our emergency fund to do that. But for right now, at least we have our deductible saved there. Next we have is Cord Blood Registry. Um, this is like a, a subscription. We did cord blood banking with our son Peter when he was born, so I have that. Um, I'm not going to save for it right now, just because we are working that on that emergency fund and I'll just cover the cost when it comes up. Um, but then dues and subs, same thing as paused right now, but we will pick that up later. Car maintenance and house maintenance along the same lines. Um, if you know, we have a house repair thing that we need to take care of between now and then. I would just pull from our emergency fund or since we are working on funding our emergency fund, would just pause the funding of that and cover like whatever the cost is. Next we have is household. This includes things like toilet paper, paper towels, detergent, like all of those kinds of necessities. And I put $100 a month into that. And then our kids, I have at two fifty each month. This covers things like diapers, clothing, toys, anything that we need to buy for the kids because we have little kids that goes there. And so obviously that's going to be needed as well. So the next thing that you see down here is the grand total for all of our savings section. And then the zero balance check, which takes the difference between our income minus all of the expenses and the debts for each month to make sure that we have every dollar assigned for the month. So. We are planning to spend a total of $71,336 this year of money that's going out of our household. And I'm planning to save $26,947 or put that amount to our savings that I'm keeping track of. And that's how I have this divided um, out. So that is an entire look at what we are planning to do for this year, mainly just attacking that emergency fund goal at the beginning of the year and then working more towards our investing goals um, as we get that emergency fund solidified and we feel a lot better about where we are in that circumstance. So let me know what you are working on for 2023 in the comments down below. Don't forget you can get this budget template on my shop and I will leave a link to that as well in the description box and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye! Life is a winding road no telling